If you could use some cuteness, bring a smile to your face, you have come to the right place. So we know that running a farm is a full time job. That's what we hear from many. It's a busy day that starts long before the sun comes up. And that's true. Even if you aren't bottle feeding two and a half day old goat triplets. You heard it here. Joining us this morning is one of the busiest women in Prince Edward Island right now. Farmer Flory Sanderson of Island Hill Farm. Good morning. Good morning. I am going to try to get through this, but my heart is exploding. <laughs> Flory, <laughs> who do you have there? Please make the introductions. This is Pearl. <laughs> this is Scout. Oh my oh, god. Hi. And this is Skipper. <laughs> oh my goodness, what breed are they? These guys are mini Nubians and they're a dairy breed. So, so when, uh, when are they born? Just two and a half days. Wow. They're sweet. I think 25th. These are the first of the first of the babies. I can't even get over it. Pearl looks like she has little boots on. Right? Yes. She's getting ready for a snowstorm. Oh, exactly. Um, is January uh, a typical time uh, for goats to have kids? Because most of us think, oh, spring, and then the influx of babies. It's animal season, animal baby season. Well, it kind of is. Um, winter is when the babies are normally born, January, February, March. And, uh, oops, and, <laughs> oops. <laughs> They're mischievous. Um, but they, it's a good time of year. Now we're getting ready. We have our milk, our goat milk. So. Pearl is vocal on this Friday. I enjoy her personality already very distinctive, would you say? Yes, yes. She is going to be very naughty, I think. <laughs> and why are they being bottle fed? Ah, I bottle feed my goats because I'm on a disease prevention with my veterinarian. <laughs> She's, and, she's uh, supposed to be in media. She's supposed to be on TV. Right? She's like, I'm here. I'm and here. Do you milk their mom? Yeah, I do milk their mom and I freeze her milk. I sell uh, the colostrum for puppies and uh, the, the, the milk itself for, um, yeah, animal pet food and my goat milk soap. Flory, they are so sweet. Their names are adorable. And I hear that they Thank were inspired you. by some students in Newfoundland. What's the connection? Yes, I have friends in Newfoundland and uh, the Chase is in uh, the Scouts. No, sorry, he's in Mount Pearl. <laughs> so they named him. So Chase and his group named them and the Scouts named Scouts. So Anderson named this little one. Oh, Skipper's just very relaxed. Well, Skipper kind of hurt its little leg Aww. when uh, when they were coming out. They were kind of coming out all jumbo, so his leg is just temporarily sore, but he'll be fine. Okay, so they're the sweetest, and they're just the three that you have right now. How many other kids are you expecting in the next <coughs> few months? <laughs> well, there's 23, uh, 22 more goats um, ready to have babies, and uh, whoop. I don't know if you can see the program. We can. This is great. Okay. This is and, bringing uh, a smile to many. No, well, that's great. So these are the ones, you know, on the, on everyone has it on Facebook, the little goats in pajamas. That's this breed, kind <gasps> of. How yes. big will they be? These guys will grow up to be about 75 pounds. They're a mini Nubian. Uh, a Nigerian dwarf is about 45. To, oh, you can't see her. She's funny. She's so sassy, I can't even get over it. And she looks like she's smirking throughout this. So that just yeah, the mischievousness sure. of, of Pearl. <laughs> like my own children. Yeah. Right? Had a bath time last night to get all ready for their debut. Yeah. And they got a bath. So what's it like having the three of them? I, I can see well, that they're your hands in the laundry are full. Room. They are, and they got blow dry. They loved it. Hey, yo. They, um, they get bottle fed four times a day. Four times a day. It's a wow. Okay. And people usually can come visit the island, uh, come visit your farm. How has the pandemic affected you? Uh, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. And uh, we do rely on tourism. And uh, so it's been a, a challenging year, but we're coming out of it. So I've uh, met many challenges. And this one, I know I'll, I'll come through. 
Aww. it's uh, just a lot of stress. I believe but it. When it's almost over and you get these, Aww. it's worth it. They're so uh, sweet. So after this weekend, we'll be open. So back to 50% capacity. And you know, Vicki, you could come over and bottle feed. I wish I could. I would come right now. They're so sweet. I wish we could have you in studio. I do love baby goats. I love baby anything. They're so sweet. What's it like just to... Face, oh, look at that face. Oh. <laughs> She's definitely the most vocal. Uh, how are their personalities different? Uh, you know, I can... Yeah, they're, they're all sassy. So these two here, I find take after more the Nigerian dwarf and... Uh, Look at these little ears are more jumpy and bouncy. Okay. And they almost kind of running, except this little guy, Skipper's leg hurts, but uh, he, well, he is the biggest boy. He was huge coming out. Oh, Flory, um, I have to, we have to wrap things up and I'm so okay. sad because I wish that I could just keep talking to you. Um, if people want more information on your farm, just quickly as we wrap up, how can they get, how can they find you? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, start watching TikTok. I did a live TikTok giving them their bath last night. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go check that out. Thank you, Flory. We so appreciate your time. Bye, Skipper Thanks Scout and me. Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> that was Flory Sanderson of Island Hill Farm. The farm is opening back up tomorrow. You can get out there, bottle feed those sweet little triplets. Can't take them home though, sadly.